Hey, fourth graders, this is Mr. Heddington, and this is our final day for our health topics for this semester. And uh, as fourth graders, you've learned quite a bit from me. Hopefully, it's things that you're doing at home already. And uh, man, those healthy habits have to carry you through your entire life. So I am just going to review a few things today and tell you a little bit about um, next year for fifth grade and then uh, something that we've just added for an opportunity to meet with us uh, on Zoom on the 25th of January. I'll tell you more about that later. So first of all, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who um, did all their Seesaw activities. Uh, there's been so many of you that, that wrote in comments or added things to your videos that I learned so much more about you than I would have maybe if we'd been in person. So that was the one benefit that I saw from all those. Uh, number two, if you remember back to our, our 18 weeks we've covered for health, our basic topics were um, what is the health triangle? And we talked about nutrition uh, and healthy eating, uh, getting enough sleep at night. We talked about some uh, first aid and safety stuff, uh, a little bit about bike safety because we didn't get a chance to do that in our PE classes for fourth grade this year. So hopefully fifth grade we'll do some bike safety in our gym class at school. Um, we also taught you about human growth development. And um, that's not everything you're going to need to know about being healthy throughout your entire life. So next year as fifth graders, you are going to have health during one semester. Uh, it will, I'm not sure what it will be. It'll probably be the fall semester. So hopefully in starting at, at the beginning of the school year, as long as we're all back in person, uh, you will get uh, health in person with me and, and whoever the other health teacher might be with us. So, um, you know, those, those are uh, going to be some weeks where we cover some similar things and some new things as well. So uh, for fifth grade, some of our bigger topics are going to be some stuff about the human body, like body systems and how different body parts work together and why it's so important to take care of those body parts to help you have a healthy lifetime. And um, then we'll move on to some stuff on a ODA, which is alcohol and other drug awareness stuff, uh, particularly about tobacco and alcohol and a few things related to medicine safety and so on. Uh, we'll also do some more first aid stuff that we didn't cover this year. We will also have a human growth development unit and it'll be a pretty important one. And I promise it won't be, uh, uh, trust me, I love teaching the fifth graders uh, this unit. Uh, if we get past the whole thing about uh, how babies get developed, that uh, there's some very interesting things I can tell you about um, related to uh, characteristics that you have, your traits, your physical things you got from um, your parents and how heredity works and genes and all that. So uh, it's kind of cool. Then um, as we move on, I am also including a uh, TED Ed. Shrink myself here. I'm also including a TED Ed video today on the importance of getting up and moving. And I know for a lot of us, including me here at school, uh, so you know, I'm not. I'm only teaching a few classes for PE. I am sitting way more than I usually do during the school year, and I've noticed it in my own health. Um, and watch this video on this, um, the hidden risks of sitting. And I'm hoping you take these uh, things seriously and. Um, you know, just do things to be active and not just sitting around all the time. I know it's tough right now. We're all in kind of quarantine and not being able to do all our fun activities we normally do. But I encourage you to get out, get active. Just like we talk about in PE, we want you active at least 60 minutes each day. And uh, for me, I, it drives me nuts sitting at a computer for most of the day. So consider that. I know being at school and we're sitting a lot, it's tough. And, um, you know, just find those times. And I know the weather's not all that great right now to be able to get outside uh, to do fun things, but it will come soon and uh, we'll be back to shorts and t-shirt weather and being able to do some activities. Final thing today, I'm inviting anybody who wants to come to this and I've sent a message to your parents regarding this on Monday, January 25th. Um, it'll be after our health unit or class is over for fifth grade. It'll be the um, that week that maybe some of you for fourth grade are coming back on Thursday and Friday to school. That Monday afternoon, we are offering a um, optional Zoom session for our end of the unit for human growth development. And um, there are three Zoom links here on the slideshow that you can join. It's only open during the time from two o'clock to three o'clock on Monday, January 25th. So your parents will help you out on deciding if you want to be in on that. Uh, there's one for girls or females, one for boys and males, and then there's a co-ed version. And there will be, I will be in with the boys on that one, uh, teaching 
that one, but uh, the girls will have a, another health teacher from another school. Um, and uh, some other teachers are doing the co-ed one as well. So you pick one of those to be in, um, you know, specific to your gender or co-ed, but uh, um, you decide and uh, it'll be just a quick, it'll be a video and some question and answer time that you might be able to answer a few more questions related to our unit. So that is all I have. If you wanna ask me more questions, the link is down below here on, um, to the anonymous question box. I only, I didn't have any from last week that were new, but if you throw it in there, it'll be open to me and I will, uh, I don't know how I'll get back to you, but uh, I can uh, figure out a way to uh, answer your questions if you have something related to that. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Watch that video about uh, being active and consider coming to our Zoom session on the 25th. Have a wonderful second semester. I will be seeing some of you during your PE time. Um, and so I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Have a great week. Bye, everybody.